Guys, can you respond in the chat box? Is everything clear? Super. Yeah. The tool name is Log4j and SLF4j. Simple logging facade for Java. Logging for Java. Here four indicates for boss. Four indicates for. Okay. SLF4j is developed on the top of Log4j. We will discuss at the end. So prerequisite to attend with this workshop is Core Java and JDBC basics. If you have little JDBC basic, that is sufficient, boss. Okay, shall we get into the discussion? Okay, log4j and SLF4j is given for logging activities. What do you mean by logging? The process of keeping track of application flow is called logging. The process of keeping track of mm, applications flow of execution is called login, boss. Is called login. Are, sometimes we write SOP statements, na? start of the main method, end of the main method. We are in those so and so method yeah, inside the try block. Yeah, they knowingly, unknowingly, there you are doing logging only. Knowingly, unknowingly, you are using that logging only. Especially in Eclipse IDE, we use a sysitrace. When you use a sysitrace control space, you will get what? SOP statement with the current class name, colon, method name. Remember? Uh, that is also in some kind of logging activities. Because of that, we are able to know applications flow of execution or not. Using logging generated log messages, we can find we can find state of the application execution on any given date and time yes now boss if we can if you start recording those messages log messages in a file or database software so and in that process you also record date and time so on a given date and time, okay, what line, what line of code is executed, which class executed, which method executed can be kept, kept tracked or not. Only the thing is you should record them. Using SOP not possible. Why? Once screen is screen is crawled up, SOP messages will go off, right? SOP messages will go off. Those are feeling screen is not visible. Those are feeling screen is not visible. Please rejoin. Please rejoin. Logging keeps track of the components and code uh, that are involved, involved in the application's execution. In the applications, uh, which lines, which classes, component means reusable classes. When I say component, don't think much about any reusable class is called component. Component main is equal to the reusable class. The reusable class, guys. Understanding my statement. Sir, that's fine. But I heard about auditing also. What is the difference between logging and auditing? Okay, simple words, sir. Logging keeps track of code flow, application code flow, which line, which method, which class, this kind of thing. Auditing keeps track of user activities. User logged in, then what he did, checked mail, then what he did, composed mail and sent the mail, then what he did, deleted the mail, then what he did, forwarded the mail. Understanding my statement? Okay. Understand that statement, guys. Super, guys. Logging keeps track of various components and code that are involved in the execution of the application. 
gets the class name, method names, blocks, modules that are involved in the application execution. Understanding my statement? Super, guys. Mm. Auditing keeps track of uh, various activities done by end user while operating the application. Gets activities like user signed in, opened inbox, replied mail, dot, dot, dot activities signed out. Understanding my statement? Super, guys. Uh, listen, 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 listen. L-O-G-I-N-N. Login. Giving username and password. <laughs> and a password to get into application. Login is different. Logging is different to get into application. Please, this confusion is there in everyone's mind. I know that because both sounds the same. Logging, sign in, one and the same. Next what? Logging. Okay, keeping track of applications flow. Applications flow. Got it? So both are different. Both are different. Now, sir, how our auditing will be done? Array, for auditing also, logging only will be used. The log messages only will be used. Understanding my statement. The log messages that keeps track of user activities are called auditing messages. Auditing is a use case of logging. Auditing is a use case of logging. I hope you are listening my statement, guys. The messages that are keeping track of user activities are called auditing messages. The remaining messages are called logging messages. Flow of execution, logging messages. In that one, some messages we write to keep track of user activities. When user signed in, what he did before sign out, they are called what? Auditing. So auditing is also one use case of logging. Through logging only, auditing will be achieved. Understood my statement. See, I joined, I joined in the Zoom meeting, you joined in the Zoom meeting. Both are a part of the Zoom meeting. But I am a panelist, you are a student. Difference is there now. Uh, same thing. The, log, the special log messages that keep track of user activities in the application utilization is called auditing. Right, boss? The special log messages, log messages of logging that keeps track of okay, user activities in the application's execution. It's called, in the application's execution, is called auditing. In the application's execution, is called auditing. Super. Use cases of logging. Okay. Use case of logging. Are a fine, fine grade, fine grade logging through user activity uh, that keeps track of user activities is called auditing boss. Use cases of logging. While performing unit testing, if the test result if the test results are negative, if the test result is negative, test result is negative, we need to debug the code. We need to debug the code to know the reason. In that process, log messages are very useful for developers. Array, you have done unit testing, right, Bob? Test results have come negative. Then we need to we need to know the flow of execution. We achieve that one through debugging, right? Right. So at that time, log messages are very useful to know which line is executed, which line is not executed, why code is not behaving as we expect. 
that time it is required or not required super while fixing the bugs given by tester while fixing the bugs given by testers the developer needs to know state of the application execution the developers needs to know state of the applications execution uh, that needs the support of log messages even this process needs the support of log messages convinced my dear are today i have submitted code after 10 days code has gone to tester right after 10 days code has gone to tester tester found some bug tester reported that problem to test lead test lead reported that problem to our team lead team lead says are this is your code now you fix the problem okay after 10 days tester reported problem came to you right but first of all why tester said this is problem you should know na you should know means you, you will tell one or other reason this is the reason i am rejecting the code but you should know on that particular time what line of code executed which method executed what is the state of execution why that test is failed for what input the test is failed so you should know na boss you should know means the generated log messages should be submitted back to you or not the generated log messages should be submitted back to you or not so if logging if log messages are not there do you think uh, developer will get the idea of the state of execution when test is failed come on so logging is very very useful boss so we write logging we write logging activities <laughs> we write logging activities along with the development of the code but its benefits will be there <coughs> towards debugging the code towards fixing the problem towards maintenance of the code towards maintenance of the project hmm. listen third one is very very interesting after releasing project guys we get production bus bugs from client organization okay let us assume project is completely released okay are for one two years we have to give maintenance support or not for one two years we have to give maintenance support or not let me let me know boss for one two years we have to give maintenance support what do you say boss after releasing project we get production bugs from client organization okay client organization hmm. client organization given by end users through on site team what do you mean by on site team guys given by end users through on site team are a client organization customers uses the project so they face the problem they report the problem to client organization come on they report the problem they report the problem they report the problem to client organization client organization will report the problems to on site team who is there with the client organization taking care of maintenance taking care of maintenance uh, for this on site team there will be one offshore team was are the team that supporting on site team by staying in software company is called offshore team or not okay i'll tell one simple example was your project is released to city bank city bank head office is there in london let us assume city bank head office is there in what london the team that goes to london and works for the project is called on site team on site team the team that is there in polaris hyderabad or polaris chennai supporting on site team of city bank is called offshore team off site or offshore team yes sir no uh, no listen yeah see the <clears throat> those are having voice problem those are having joy screen problem please rejoin problem is your side am i loud and clear guys am i loud and clear stop using that mobile data start using dedicated wifi network to attend the classes or if you are using 
you don't have option of using mobile data at least try to sit in a stable place uh, try to sit in a stable place where stable network is coming from your side also bit cooperation is required boss i won't do anything but everything should happen smoothly means it won't happen i never encourage you people attending classes through mobile data always suggest to go to wifi okay Right, boss. Uh, tell me, tell me. Uh, even more. Yeah, you attend with mobile data. One Mbps also fine, but stable network is required. Super guys. Uh, the offshore team. Uh, listen, the customer of Citibank. The custom. <coughs> Super guys. Rahul Kumar, can you wait? I'm preparing background to launch Log4j. Please stop showing your excitement, boss. Please stop showing your excitement. I request everyone. Everything comes in an order. I'm trying preparing the background. Where Log4j is required? Where logging is required? Without knowing this, what you will do with coding? First, you should know where exactly these things will be used. In interview, they are worried about how tool is being used. How to use you to technically code, copy, paste. Nothing is there. But where it is used, how it is used. These use cases makes you different from regular learners. Super. Ah, now listen carefully. The customer of Citibank reports the problem to Citibank employee. Citibank employee reports the problem to head office. Head office reports the problem to on-site team. On-site team reports the problem to offshore team. Small problem, on-site team only solves it. Big problem, they report to offshore team. Offshore team is nothing but the team that is there in India supporting on-site team. Okay, just assume guys, uh, customer reported after one month of the problem raised. It came to head office in two days, 32 days. Reported to on-site team after four days, 36 days. Reported to offshore team after 10 days, 46 days. 46th day, offshore team person should analyze the code and should solve the problem Okay, in the code that is raised for the end user. If offsite team member is not aware of what happened on that particular day when problem is raised? What was the flow of execution? What is the state of application execution on that particular time period when problem is raised? How we can solve the problem, guys? Because that is the rarest of the rarest possibility to get the problem, right? You must know the state of the execution or not. Uh, that is possible if project is added with what? Logging. That is possible if project is released by adding what? Logging support. Got the point, boss? So you will go to that day log file. Every day one log file, let us assume. He will go to that day log file. Uh, he will see. He will see the minute of the problem. At what time the problem is raised, he observes the log messages that are generated at that time. So he will analyze the problem and he will try to fix the problem. So logging is very, very useful or not, guys? Because sometimes problems won't be repeated immediately, Rai Babu. By the time you try to handle the problem, it's been two months, it's been 45 days, it's been 90 days. But still you have to solve the problem. But without knowing state of execution on that particular day when problem was raised, how can you solve the problem? So logging is required very much in the maintenance projects or not. Maintenance of the projects or not. Come on. My background preparation is always awesome, boss. I never damn importance to step one, do this, write these lines of code. 
first you should know where exactly it is being used how exactly it is being used in the industry then only your knowledge is very useful to show gap as experience come on i hope you got it i hope you understood all the three use cases when test results are negative uh, unit testing should be done by whom programmer only when test result is negative while fixing the problem log messages are useful when tester reports the problems to programmer while fixing those problems also log messages are required when on site report on site team reports the bugs to offshore team while fixing those problems also log messages are required so logging is required almost in every aspect boss okay with respect to after releasing the project to client organization the software company location is called offshore or off site location client organization location is called on site or on shore location on site or on shore location uh, some examples i kept was offshore location polaris hyderabad city bank london cts hyderabad amex are amex is the client for cts company amex means american express rabo tcs bangalore central government project delhi hey, not compulsory on site does not mean always foreign country rabo on site does not mean always foreign country sometime on site means within the same city within the same building within the same country also or maybe neighboring country like what bangladesh sri lanka also <laughs> maybe neighboring countries like because our people thinks that on site means london okay america us uh, this one yeah. european country south africa that's fine most of the time we go there only but uh, suppose suppose you you are working for tcs and you are into e governance project you are into e governance project uh, given to telangana state government you are in city tcs hyderabad so for you for you what is on site location you know in uh, telangana secretariat which is there in tangmand which is there in necklace road tangmand you, you, you go to telangana secretary <laughs> okay you go to telangana secretariat you will see lot of employees roaming roaming in the caridas wearing tcs tags tcs tags because they they directly come to secretariat every day they directly come to secretariat every day because they are on site team maintaining e governance project at client location so don't think that on site means always for an opportunity nowadays some hr people tempting you hey you join in our company by accepting our offer we will send you on site but he never said which location he never says which location most of the people <laughs> most of the people thinks this on site means i will get foreign opportunities sometimes this hr manager will cheat you will make you fools by sending to passport office of hyderabad by sending to telangana secretariat by sending to ap secretariat sometimes there were days people are sent to people are sent to ticket reservation counters also APS RTC ticket reservation counters, railway ticket, uh, railway ticket reservation counter to solve the problem to fix the problems. Yes, sir. No, no. Super boss. Hmm. Super guys. Uh, tell me, guys, if project is in-house project, then offshore and on-site locations are same. in house project are sometime tcs people develop project for themselves are to manage 13 lakh employees that are there in tcs one project is required na to manage their payroll system they manage their attendance system lot of policies will be there to manage they themselves develop one project na boss uh, that is called in house project then what offshore and on site locations are same or not in house project for themselves if tcs hyderabad is dealing uh, telangana government e governance project uh, then 
then both locations will be same city hyderabad on site and offshore locations will be same city hyderabad got it guys super just before releasing the project the team will be divided into two parts part 1 on site team goes to client organization location to receive install maintain the project part 2 <laughs> okay uh, offshore team stays in software company to release the project and to fix the production bugs given by client organization given by client organization offshore team is supporting supporting team to on site team i think this line is very important both are not independent teams guys offshore team is always supporting team to on site team everyone understood my statement super boss while maintaining the project that is there in production environment if the project is down all of sudden then the maintenance team the maintenance team hmm, the maintenance team uh, maintenance team sends exceptions related special log file to know the reasons and to fix the problem are the maintenance team the maintenance team sends maintenance team sends exception related special log file ah uh, tell me to know the reason and to fix the problem uh, listen guys midnight 2 o'clock application down rava what application down uh, e commerce application down that time they will sit and see all the log messages uh, that time it's waste of time na boss it's a waste of time that's why what they will do you know only for exception they will take a separate log file only for exception they will take a separate log file uh, so what happens guys they open exception related special log file they see the reason and they try to restart the application as early as possible you know banking server if they if they are down more than half an hour crores of loss will be there and some countries are having strict business rules what is that you know your bank server should not be down more than 60 minutes throughout a year throughout a year you know that if singapore kind kind of country is very strict even indian government also very strict on this point all down storm together in a year it should not be more than 60 are you are you getting my point boss you know uh, hdfc nowadays not issuing new credit cards and debit cards did you notice that hdfc is not issuing new credit cards and debit cards recently why central government central government banned that company to issue credit cards and debit cards not because of high customers not because of high customer they fail to maintain consistency in the system they main to they fail to maintain application in a stable mode for long time their server is going down and down a back to back times that's why they got penalty i think next 3 years or 4 years next 3 years or 4 years they they are blocked not to release new things maybe now ban may be lifted but earlier ban was there for few days boss ban was there for few days super guys uh, tell me while uh, while while taking backup of database software and bringing database software back to normal state after crash we take the support of log messages <laughs> now listen 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 right 
while while taking backup of database software and bringing database software back to normal state after crash we take the support of log messages right while performing transaction management executing logics by applying do everything or nothing principle we need log messages support here also we need log messages support understanding my statement guys Okay, in these three places also log messages. Are life is full of log messages, Rabo. Life is full of log messages. Understanding? And many activities are dependent on log activity. Many, many activities are dependent on log activities. Uh, let's see, guys. Every project contains following four environment: development environment, testing environment. UAT, user acceptance test environment, production environment. These two things will happen at what place? Software company. These two things will happen at what place, guys? Client organization. These two things will happen at what place? Client organization. Come on, come on. Test, development and testing happens in software company. These two things happens in what? client organization uh, now listen but nowadays scenarios are changing little bit rabob nowadays scenarios are changing little bit listen carefully if software company and client both are using cloud for development and execution of the project for development of the execution of the project uh, then what happened so no software company no both happens in cloud itself both happens in cloud itself. See this? If software company and client organizations are using cloud environment for development and production, then cloud itself acts as on-site and offshore location. Are you listening my statement? The cloud itself acts as an on-site and offshore location. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, people are using regular systems to run the projects. They're using cloud environment or not. Since the discussion is started on offsite and onshore, I am talking about. What do you mean by cloud environment? This cloud management can be done by using what? AWS, Windows Azure, Google Cloud and etc. Google Cloud and etc. Are you getting my point? What do you mean by cloud? Huh? Very simple, Rababu. Taking software, hardware, entire infrastructure on rental basis that belongs to internet environment okay using it for project development testing releasing everything <laughs> okay aws is always market leader boss but not only aws we have a lot of option nowadays azure is also doing well nowadays azure also doing well why have given this knowledge you know nowadays slowly on-site offshore terminologies are moving away because software company is using cloud Client organization is using cloud. So for both offshore on-site is cloud only. Offshore on-site location is cloud only. Understanding my statement? Super guys. Using cloud for development production means taking software, hardware set up on rental basis uh, for, for developing for developing testing project and also receiving and also and also for receiving and installing for receiving installing and maintaining the project after releasing the project after releasing the project understanding my statement guys super array except a few projects are most of the projects are preferring what cloud only boss Ah, they, see, uh, client organization may use different vendor of cloud and uh, software company may use different vendor of cloud. Super, guys. Uh, now, listen, final conclusion, boss. Final conclusion. The code related to logging, 
the code related to logging will be added to project during development but it will be used in different phases of the project at the time of developing along with our main logics we also add log messages at the time of development only log messages will be added right but utilization required in the unit testing uh, while fixing the bugs of testers testing while fixing the bugs of maintenance uh, maintenance bugs in lot of phases log messages are required because they are required in transaction management they are required in every place so you add log messages you add log messages during the development but they are required in different phases of the project okay the simplest way of performing logging is sop statements boss your sop statements are there na system dot out dot println statements are there na yeah they are the they are the simplest way of working with sop uh, logging boss that's the simplest way of working with log messages super uh, now let's see guys we can do logging in any java application by using sop and sep system dot out dot println and system dot error dot println method but the following limitations are there simplest way of doing logging is what sop and sep but the following limitations are there all these are the limitations of system dot out dot println let me give the idea i will scold sop and sep based log messages rababu limitations of that so that we will get a reason to study log 4j everyone getting my point this is the plan first i explain need of logging what is logging need of logging we are clear on that point so far and knowingly unknowingly we are doing logging in our application using sop sometimes scp also but there are limitation if you do logging by using sop and sc if you do logging by using what sop and scp are you understanding my statement super we can write log messages only to console monitor which will be last after certain amount of time are suppose your see is a web application log messages are coming on the server console because sop scp can be can write log messages to server console only na boss okay okay after certain amount of time once the screen is uh, scrolled up messages will be lost or not are they permanent are they permanent no na we will be losing the messages okay let us let us think about maintenance bug came after 60 days offshore team has given maintenance bug to offshore team after 60 days uh, if you are using sop based log messages how offshore team person will know state of the application execution offshore team says i am ready to fix the problem tell me the state of execution on that particular day tell me the state of application execution on that particular day <laughs> got it got it my dear understanding my statement on site team says are where are log messages uh, where are the log messages are the screen is crawled up messages gone messages gone uh, saujanya kappa is saying that run again you will get log messages are madam it is a web application you will stop and run again ha huh? <laughs> will stop and again a uh, super that's the limitation number 1 we cannot categorize the log messages are exception related or log messages are severe log messages okay oh, confirmation messages are non severe log messages can we categorize log messages guys can we categorize log messages while using sop all are equal we cannot format the log messages can we see log messages as html table content can we see log messages in xml file can we add log messages order my choice content in the log messages i want to add line number in the log messages i want to add 
thread name in the log messages. Can we format like that? Super. We cannot write log messages to different destinations like file, database, software, mail server, and etc. File, database, software, mail server, and etc. File, database, software, mail server, and etc. Guys. Super, guys. We cannot see old log messages after a few days or hours. We cannot see old log messages after a few days or hours. Particular date and time log messages are possible? Huh? Possible, guys? Not possible. We cannot filter log messages while retrieving. Are, I don't want to see all log messages. I want to see only exception related log messages. Is it possible, guys? Is it really possible? Writing messages to console monitor using SOP, SCP uh, is a single threaded process. Is a single threaded process. Listen, this is very important. So, if multiple log messages are generated at a time, generated at a time, at a time from the application, they will be rendered to application having delay, generated at a time, generated at a time, they will be rendered to application having delay. Suppose, listen, mine is a big web application, Rababu. In a given second, at a time, 50,000 requests are coming. 50,000 different lines of code is executed. 50,000 different lines of code is executed in my web application in that given second. So 50,000 log messages are generated. But writing message, SOP messages to console monitor is a single threaded process or multi-threaded process? Single threaded process. Though 50,000 log messages are generated at a time, since uh, SOP can write only one log message at a time to console, tell me, though message is generated at given second, but 50,000 log messages will be printed on the console having a lot of time delay or not? Having a lot of time delay or not? Can we trust the time of log message generation? Can we really trust the time of log message generation? Because SOP, the way SOP renders the log messages to console monitor is a single threaded process or not? Definitely is a single threaded process or not? Are you understanding my statement, guys? Are a web application towards receiving requests multi-threaded, Rababu. Towards writing SOP messages. Towards writing SOP messages. Towards writing SOP messages to console. Is a single-threaded process. Super guys. To overcome these problems, we have multiple alternates for logging activities. We have multiple act alternates for SOP. Alternates for SOP. SOP are 
Java assertions from JDK Sun Microsystem boss. Java logging API given by given in given in Java dot util package from JDK Sun Microsystem. Commons logging from Apache. JBoss logging from JBoss people. JBoss people. Okay. Super. SCP. Uh, Mitra, without knowing meaning of SOP and SCP, you completed core Java, na? Sorry, boss. System dot out dot print LN. Okay. System dot out dot print LN. Mr. Eureka Kebaba, Eureka Kebab, I am not talking about web application receiving request. I am talking about how web application writes SOP messages to console monitor. Please, please keep your mind on that writing messages too. Super. Those are those you don't have core Java knowledge, please leave the meeting. Those you don't know core Java basics, please leave the meeting. It is not for you people. Strong core Java knowledge is required in order to attend these sessions. It is only for those students who have strong core Java knowledge and a good amount of JDBC knowledge. It is not for those people who just started core Java. Clear boss? Don't waste my time and your time. Don't waste my time and your time. Please leave the meeting. Wait for the next time. Super. Log4j means logging for Java, boss. Log4j means logging for Java. Log4j from Apache, best. Log back from Adobe. But out of all these things, who is best, guys? Log 4J. Log 4J. Sir, in our uh, discussion, SLF 4J is there, na? And you have not listed here. You have not listed here. And SLF 4J is a different one, Ravav. What SLF 4J says, you know, Insta working with the commons logging separately, JBoss logging separately, log back separately, log 4J separately. You work with SLF 4J, uh, it internally links, it will be internally linked with, it will be internally linked with your choice logging framework. So if you move to one, your, your, uh, one minute, if you move to one logging framework to another logging framework, one tool to another tool, you need not to worry about changing the code because you are still going to work with SLF4J. You are still going to work with SLF4J. That means SLF 4J is there at the top layer and it can work with the, most of these things. You said SLF 4J, you link with logback. Uh, it internal uses logback. Listen, listen. It internal uses logback. For us still SLF 4J coding only we write. I asked SLF 4J, you link with log 4J. It internally uses log 4J to generate all logging messages. But still I will work with what? SLF 4J coding only. That means what? It provides abstraction on multiple logging APIs and tools. And provides unified environment to work with any logging API. Provides unified environment to work with any logging API. Otherwise, what happens? When you move to one logging API to another logging API, coding will change. But if you start using all these logging API through SLF4J, same coding, but internals will be different. I'll tell you best example for this. Best, the best example of real life. TV separate remote. Listen carefully. TV separate remote, right? AC separate remote. Nowadays, fan separate remote. Yes, na boss. Fan separate remote. 
नेक्स्ट साउंड सिस्टम सपरेट रिमोट अरे इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग दिस मेनी रिमोट्स कॉन्फिगर ऑल द रिमोट्स तू सिंगल यूनिवर्सल रिमोट ना बस कॉन्फिगर ऑल दिस रिमोट्स इनटू सिंगल यूनिवर्सल रिमोट ओके देन व्हाट हैपेंस गैस यूजिंग वन रिमोट आई कैन कंट्रोल ऑल द डिवाइसेस और इफ यू आर हैविंग एमआई मोबाइल इफ यू आर हैविंग एमआई मोबाइल इन दैट वन एमआई रिमोट एप्लीकेशन इज देन एमआई रिमोट एप्लीकेशन इज देन यू कॉन्फिगर यू कॉन्फिगर ऑल योर डिवाइसेस तू दैट एमआई मोबाइल एमआई रिमोट एप्लीकेशन ऐसा नो ना so that uh, using one universal remote i can control all the devices ah uh, now listen all these apis on which slf 4j providing abstraction are like individual remotes slf 4j is like slf 4j is like universal remote slf 4j is like universal remote okay my home is controlled with alexa boss my home is controlled with alexa so instead of using individual remotes i control everything with alexa <laughs> i control everything with alexa so for me i need to operate only one thing that one is that one is linked with ac tv curtains lights everything lights everything yeah <laughs> ओके एसएलएफ 4J सिंपल लॉगिंग फैकेड फॉर जावा इज नॉट ए इज नॉट ए बेसिक लॉगिंग एपीआई इट प्रोवाइड्स अब्स्ट्रैक्शन ऑन मल्टीपल लॉगिंग एपीएस और टूल्स और फ्रेमवर्क एंड प्रोवाइड्स यूनिफाइड एपीआई फॉर लॉगिंग बाय इंटरनली यूजिंग आवर चॉइस लॉगिंग एपीआई बाय इंटरनली यूजिंग आवर चॉइस लॉगिंग एपीआई आई थिंक यू कन्विंसड माय डियर By internally using our choice logging API. Facade means platform. Facade facade means platform. Okay. SLF 4J is like. Universal remote. Linked with. Hmm. multiple independent remotes multiple independent remotes linked with multiple independent remotes guys everyone understanding my statement guys yeah facade means internally it is facade design pattern okay super are alexa is also like one universal remote na it's more than universal remote right super boss iot it's a discussion of iot look at look at this slf 4j framework log back log 4j commons logging slf 4j with log back slf 4j with log 4j slf 4j with common logging api common logging api Okay, now that's why when someone asks you, can you list out logging tools? Please don't write SLF 4J. SLF 4J itself not a basic logging tool, Rabu. It is a framework providing abstraction on multiple individual logging tools, multiple and so that it provides unified environment to work with all logging tools. it provides unified environment to work with all individual logging tools okay look at look at how i am using alexa here how i am using alexa are you able to see curtains of the room are you able to see the curtains of the room guys everyone okay now listen my voice command alexa close balcony that support that sorry sorry it's my mistake Alexa close living curtain Are you able to see curtains are moving
No, it's not hotel room. It's my home only. Are, I'm a technical guy now, boss. Alexa, open living curtain. Okay. Are you able to feel curtains are opening? Yeah. <laughs> so like this in my home, everything, everything is automated. Everything is automated, right? Super. Hmm. So yes. don't get into the financial discussion. What is all this stuff, right? <laughs> okay. Super. So, Aray, you want to become expert in this one? You should study IoT. Internet of things. Internet of things. Internet of things. Okay. Shall we get into the subject? Like this, I can control multiple devices of my home boss. So and why I'm explaining, you know, SLF4J is also like that. SLF4J also like that, right? Super. Log4J. Hi. Log4J. Uh, what is that type? Logging tool for Java. Version 1.x stable, 2.x is not so stable. 2.x is not so stable. Was vendor Apache, please come out of that field. It's 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 nowadays very common. Okay, when you start getting job, when you start earning money, you can also do this setup in your home. It's quite common nowadays. It's not a costly affair, also, right. Yeah, it's open source, guys. Free and source code is available. Jar file representing this API. Log4j iPhone version dot jar. You can download from mvnrepository.com. To download log4j software, nothing but jar file, boss. To download log4j software, you will get a zip file, guys. And you have to extract the zip file. You have to extract the zip file. Our understanding my statement. Super, guys. So, you will get a zip file. I, nowadays, no need of zip file, guys. We need just one jar. That if you add jar, we are ready with the log4j. Log4j advantages. Yeah, listen everyone carefully. Right. No, no. Only jar you will get mvnrepository.com. If you download the zip file, when you extract the zip file, inside the zip file also separate jar is there. Same jar is there. But it, there is no need of downloading log4j software, boss. But just to get the jar file, add to the project and you can start working with the log4j. I, I will share this document with you people. Please focus. Log4j advantages. With SOP, so many problems I said, now, boss. So many problems I said. Okay, in log4j, most of the problems are solved. Allows to categorize the log messages. Allows to categorize the log messages. And we can uh, prioritize. We can add priorities for log messages. We can add priorities for log messages. This is important. This is not so important kind of thing. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Total five categories are there. How many categories are there? Five categories are there. Debug, info, warn, error, fatal. See the less than symbol? Here less than, here less than, here less than. Everywhere less than symbol is there or not? Everywhere less than symbol is there or not? Eureka Kabba, this is log4j log messages, right? It is not your thinking. 
Mr. Kibba, please be focused. And please, when I introduce every anything, don't excite. What is this? What is this? Please hold your breath for 10, 5 to 10 minutes. Everything comes in the flow. Everything comes in the flow. Newcomers, those who are attending my sessions for the first time, Trace is not part of log 4J log levels. Trace is not part of log 4J log levels. Please. Super. Okay. I request everything. When you see something new, don't excite and put question in the chat box. Wait for 5-10 minutes. It will definitely come in the next discussions. Whenever you plan to ask something, please hold it for 5 minutes. I believe most of your queries will be sorted out in next to 5 to 10 minutes discussion. After 5 to 10 minutes also. Okay. After 5 to 10 minutes also, if I am not taking the discussion in the angle you want, in the angle you want, then please bring it to me in the form of chat message. Super. Congrats. Everyone look at the chat box message, guys. One of your batchmates has got job. My name is Manoj and I have shortlisted for Infosys as a senior systems engineer as Java developer. Thanks for all motivation and scolding. Okay, all motivation and scolding. Scolding also, na? fine. It worked out. Mm. Yeah, shall we get into the discussions? Super. Uh, tell me, debug info warn error and fatal boss. Debug info warn error and fatal. Uh, see, use debug level for normal confirmation code flow statements. Code flow statements of code like code flow statements are, uh, like what? Code flow statements. Uh, main method start, main method end, start of business method, end of business method, and etc. End of business method and etc. Understanding my statement, guys. Got the clarity, my dear. Super. Mm. Info level for important confirmation code flow statements. Info level for important confirmation code flow statements of code flow. Array of code flow is not required. Important code flow statements like connection established with the database software, login successful, right, boss? Login is successful. Uh, OTP generated. Token is accessed. Important activities, boss. Definitely important activities. Understanding my statement, guys? Super, boss. Login successful. OTP generated. Token is accessed. Uh, next. Okay. Warn level. To write log messages for code that should not be used or executed, but somehow used and executed. I will tell one example, boss. In your application code, one, two deprecated methods you have used. One, two deprecated methods we have used. Understanding my statement? You know they are not perfect method. They are not good method. They are not great option. But to complete the task very fastly, to submit the task because of time emergency, you have used it. 
okay but you have to mark yourself na otherwise you may forget in future right suppose some methods of date class you have used some methods of calendar class we have used which are deprecated in spring also so many things are deprecated hibernate also so many things are deprecated since you did not find better alternate for a timing you have used to complete the task to submit the task but you want to mark yourself and here i should not use but i used so better to write one log messages na so as a warn log messages later when you see that warn messages some reminder comes to your brain or your teammates or your team leader he will alert you are babu that day you have used that uh, deprecated method go and change it should not be used but used should not be executed but executed so you have better to have a warning for you or not and sometime in case of emergency we use temporary tag okay uh, see guys especially useful when programmers uses deprecated apis poor apis on temporary basis understanding super uh, next error level you know so many people knows these levels was but they don't have clarity they really don't have clarity where to use what but we are we are having clarity in our boss we are having clarity or not okay super are comments will be there in dot java file but these will be there as log messages na when you use these levels th that will reflect in the log file right okay error level to write log messages for known exception related catch blocks to write log messages from known exception uh, from known exception related catch blocks like catch sql exception sc catch illegal argument exception and etc catch illegal argument exception and etc in known catch blocks you go for error use fatal level fatal means severe very fatal problem in severe problem fatal problem in severe problem getting my point use fatal level to write log messages from unknown exception related related catch block like catch exception e catch throwable e and etc for unknown exceptions catch block fatal known exception catch block error when i use it poor apis or deprecated apis unsatisfactory api warn level for important confirmation messages info for normal confirmation messages code indicate code code levels of execution i mean main method end of main method then this one debug debug boss super guys in testing environment what is the difference between bug and issue what is the difference between bug and issue listen carefully bug means code is there but expected functionality is not coming wrong logic when 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 we click on when we click on home hyperlink it is going to about us page everything is there but functionality going wrong functionality going wrong issue means the feature or functionality itself missing home hyperlink home link or hyperlink itself is missing come on guys i hope you realize that the difference between issue and bug bug means code is there but fun functionality is there but it is not behaving as expected okay issue means major problem the total feature is missed total feature is missed okay uh no listen carefully no need of taking screenshot no need of taking photographs i will share the document in the facebook group i will give the details where i share also don't worry super uh, nizam what is the difference between bug and error what is the difference between bug and error bug means wrong logics giving wrong results without throwing exception 
no abnormal termination of the application execution wrong results will come wrong behavior will be there uh, example home hyperlink taking you to about us page error or failure means wrong logic throwing exception and stopping the application execution stack overflow stack underflow and etc stack overflow stack underflow and etc boss are exception will be thrown and application exception they are the blockers they are the blockers in the code execution they are called error or failure boss error or failure super uh, log forge advantages what's the first advantage guys we can categorize the log messages our main discussion is this these are quite supplementary discussion number 2 allows to write or record log messages to different destinations like like console file database software mail server and etc we can write log messages to different different destinations see the beauty was but most of the time we use files only most of the times we use file only okay guys right boss most of the time we prefer file only but we have a option boss we can write to console we can write to file we can write to database software you can write to mail server as email messages are above you can write mail server means we can write to email messages allows allows to format the log messages using different layouts allows to format the log messages using different layouts guys Uh, we can format boss we can see uh, log messages as we have log messages as html layout xml layout and etc html layout xml layout and etc boss allows to retrieve log messages by applying filters allows to retrieve log messages see guys these are the these are the filters we can apply when i say all i will get all log messages when i say give me log messages whose logger level is debug debug and above messages will come debug and above messages will come if i say give me log messages whose logger level is info info and above messages will come info and above means what info warn error fatal will come if i say off no log messages will be generated if i say all all levels of all log messages will come see this if the logger level to retrieve log messages is info then we get all log messages whose priority level is info and higher info warn error fatal messages if logger level to retrieve log messages is error then we get all log messages whose priority level is what error and higher error and what filter are we can while 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 enabling log forge to application we can specify these filters ra babu while enabling log for j in the application while linking log for j in the application we can specify this filter to retrieve the log messages super boss we'll see practically don't worry if logger level to retrieve log messages is all <coughs> then we get all log messages if the logger level to retrieve log messages is off then we can uh, then we get then 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 logging will be disabled on the application that means no log messages will be generated in real time in real time for every application 
for every application, two log files will be maintained. Two log files will be maintained. Number one, common log files records all log messages end to end. All log messages, debug level, info level, everything it will maintain. Exception log file, guys. Records only error and fatal level log messages. Useful when system or project is down. Useful when system or project is down. And I said, nah, midnight 2 o'clock application is down. Midnight 2 o'clock application is down. That time it is very, very useful or not, boss? Midnight 2 o'clock application is down, right? Uh, that time, if you open common log file, what happens? Thousands of lakhs of log messages will be there. At least thousands of log messages will be there. Who will verify where exception came? Instead of that, if you open exception log file, where only error and fatal log messages are there, it's very easy to know the problem now, boss. Because downtime cannot be increased, boss. Downtime cannot be increased. I think you, your brother, relative, or friend, okay, might be uh, got up all of a sudden midnight, two o'clock because call came from office and uh, opened the laptop and urgently seeing that this and for one hour hangama later they are relaxed. So that time nothing for their system down. Their system went down. Their system went down. That's why they are gone for it. Convinced, my dear. Got the clarity, boss. A common log file also contains exception related log messages. Common log file contains all log messages. But exception related log file contains only exception related log messages. Superna, boss. Right can change inputs of the application, can change the inputs of the application related to log4j, either using properties file or XML file. Are you understanding my statement, guys? Uh, properties file or XML file, guys? Uh, nothing is there, guys. Uh, nothing is there. You can give instructions to log4j setup either using properties file or XML file. Most of the industry prefers properties. Right. For example, I have to set logger level. Logger level to retrieve the log messages. Okay, I want to set. Instead of hard coding inside the application, better to give from properties file now, boss. Better to give from properties file now. Super. Uh, next one. Log4j can write log messages to files as parallel process. This is very important. Can write log messages to files or console. Files or console or console or other destination other destination as a parallel process, as a parallel process. Okay, database guys. Files are database as parallel process. Number seven, it is industry standard. Okay, it is industry standard. Are you understanding my statement, boss? It is industry standard. Super. Tell me how many important objects are there in log4j programming? I hope whatever problems are there with SOP, all the problems are solid or not? Whatever problems are there with SOP, all the most of the problems got solved. Did you realize that? Did you notice that, boss? Super. Three important objects of log4j program. How to handle fatal level? Huh? Are, that is also exception. Huh? Catch block. Fa catch block. Fatal is also unknown exception, boss. 
already fatal means unknown exception come on <laughs> exception means you are handling unknown exceptions in unknown exceptions catch block we write fatal right okay uh, tell me three important objects of log 4j program <coughs> logger object appender object layout object our entire log 4j programming will be around these three objects boss will always be around these three objects getting my point boss super logger object boss enables login on given java class and in xyz class you want to having login there you have to create logger object how to process the logger object guys how to create a logger object logger logger is equal to logger dot get logger class name current class name current java class related java dot lang dot class object current java class related java dot lang dot class object example you observe logger logger is equal to logger dot get logger bank service management dot class am i passing dot class file name or am i passing object of java class this is dot this dot class property gives me what object of java class having given class name or not object of java class having given class name or not am i passing dot class file name here no it gives me object of java dot lang dot class having class name right boss super boss now listen this is a static factory method what method static factory method this is a definitely static factory method right and logger is a singleton class boss logger is a singleton class are you getting my point logger is singleton class you try to call logger dot get logger in one jvm for a thousand times it will give same object it will give same object <laughs> okay that uh, allows us to create why sir why single object are if multiple objects are created multiple logging things will happen na in all classes of application single control should be there for logging na boss in every class if we give separate control it will be problem or not okay allows us to create only one object in any situation in any situation only one object in any situation guys super tell me super uh, now listen this is the first activity It enables logging on given java class like this we can enable and also useful useful to generate log messages from the application having different priority level using same logger object we can generate the log messages are you listening my statement ah uh, listen if you write log message see okay connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection below that i will write logger dot info connection established connection established is the log message but what is the level info level based on the method we call priority is decided category is decided debug method is called a message is okay logger dot debug at the start of the main method start of main method logger dot debug at the end of main method end of main method the message is decided as debug level message if any place if i use deprecated apis below that i write below that i write uh, some uh, deprecated api replace it that is a warn level in the catch block of known exceptions error message logger dot error log message in the catch block of unknown exception okay fatal dot logger dot fatal log message that means second usage of logger object is what generating log messages having categories these applications will be there in the middle of the application code 
Don't think that like this I will write boss. No, 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 no. I will write my regular application boss. In the middle of the, in the place of SOP, I will start writing this. Earlier I used to write start of main method, end of main method, connection established, statement object created, query executed, this kind of statement by using SOP. But this time I will try to use what? Different levels of log messages using logger object. So second usage of logger object is what guys? Second usage of logger object is what guys? Right, generating log messages, having categories. Yeah, what is the third usage of logger object, boss? Allows to specify logger level to retrieve the log messages. Though application is generating different levels of log messages, but when I execute the application, I want to see my choice log messages. I want to see application generating my choice log messages. Understanding my statement. I want to see application generating my choice log messages. Uh, tell me guys. Super. I request everyone. If you are not able to recognize factory method, static method, static factory method, please leave the meeting. Please complete your core Java nicely and come for the sessions. Without having strong core Java knowledge, please don't attend this kind of advanced workshops. It may kill your confidence of learning Java. Learn every workshop, every high-end with proper prerequisite. I cannot spend time on what is static method, what is factory method, what is SOP, what is SCP in this high-end tools session. If anyone is such one, please leave the meeting, complete Core Java nicely, wait for the next turn. It's my humble request. It's good for Java, good for you, good for me, good for software industry. Because I'm seeing so many people asking funny questions. Funny question. What is static method? What is SOP? What is SCP? What is factory method? Please, I, this session cannot be... <laughs> session cannot be used to explain Core Java. Log4j tool is a big tool. Super. Right, boss. Uh, tell me here. Allows to specify logger level to retrieve the log messages. Logger dot set level, level dot debug. What's the meaning of this, guys? I want to get only those log messages whose logger level is debug and high. Whose logger level is what? Debug and higher. Suppose I want to see only exception related log messages. Then what should I do? Set level, level dot level dot error level dot error then what happened i will get only those log messages uh, whose logger level is error and fatal because only those two things are there right boss super uh, total how many activities can be done by using logger object three op three operation to enable logging to generate log messages and to specify logger level. To specify logger level. Cool guys. Both appender object, layout object will be added to logger object directly or indirectly. Nice boss. Instructions or inputs to logger object either can be hard coded or can be given using properties file or XML file. What is recommended? Okay, fine. Puja, madam, after listening entire Ramayana, you should not ask who is Sita. Please focus. Lager dot set level, level dot debug. When, when, when you execute the application, which log messages you want to see? Every log message or few log messages? Okay, if you mention level dot error, I will get error and fatal level messages as the log messages. If I keep 
If I keep uh, info, I will get info and high level messages. Are, how to filter log messages? Okay, this will help. This will help to filter the log messages. Understanding my statement, guys? Super, guys. Uh, now, listen. Okay. My dear, listen. One more thing. One more thing you observe. Debug and all one and the same. Can you, can you guess it, guys? Debug and all one and the same. If you observe very carefully, uh, logger level to retrieve the log messages. If I take debug or R, same meaning, na? Yes, no? it's the same meaning. It's the same meaning. Why? Tell me why. Debug means debug and high messages, right? All also, every message. Meaning was same now, boss. Meaning was same now, boss. Are you understanding my statement? Especially towards filtering the messages especially while filtering the messages, right? Categoric. In categorization, there is no all and off, Rababu. These all and off can be used only towards filtering the messages. And if no, uh, listen carefully. If no logger level is given to filter the log messages, default is debug. If no logger level is given, is given to filter the log messages, the default logger level is the default logger level is debug. The default logger level is debug. Everyone getting my point there or not? Come on. Super. Now listen, what is the next object, guys? If there is no, if there is no lager level, achha, no problem. If no lager level is given to filter the log messages, the default lager level is what? Debug. What is the next object, guys? Appender object. Appender object. Listen carefully. Specify the destination where to record the log messages. Where to record. Record means write wrap up. Where to record. Nothing but write. File appender. Rolling file appender. Daily rolling file appender. JDBC appender. IMAP appender. Console appender and etc. These many predefined classes are there. These many. These are predefined. These are the various predefined classes, boss. These are the various predefined classes. Okay. Specifies the destination where to record the or where to write the log messages. File appender writes to file. Rolling file appender, daily rolling file appender, writes to file, but uh, after certain size creates a new log file. It is capable of creating log file for every minute, every hour, Every day, every 12 hours, every week, every month. It is very powerful, boss. Mm. JDBC appender takes database software. <laughs> IMAP appender takes mail server as destination. Okay. 
console appender i should not talk this takes console takes what takes console that means console monitor takes console monitor and etc super let's see how rolling file appender works boss how rolling file appender works guys please come on come on come on application one writes the log messages Super guys, application one writes the log message. Application one writes the log message, guys. Come on, are you with me? Application one writes the log message. Uh, what is the max size I have taken? 30 KB. Once 30 KB log messages are completed, Rababu. Once again, once 30 KB log messages are completed. Okay. How to specify, where to specify, I will talk now. Can you listen concept first? Kavya madam, can you listen concept first? Okay, still coding is not started. I'm just explaining what is what. Ah, tell me, tell me. Application 1 writes the log messages to log file. 30 KB is the max file size. Once 30 KB is completed, it will move to one backup file. They are also completed. Okay, one more time completed. This will be moved to this. This will be moved to this. Are a rolling file appender. Rolling file appender. Like this, multiple backup files will be created or not? Rolling file appender. Multiple backup files will be created or not? Super guys. Uh, tell me here. Application 1 writes to this one. What is the max size I have taken? 30 KB. Are you, this file name, pro, max size, lot of information we can either hard code in your .java file or we can give properties file. But very important. First time 30 KB is filled up here. It will write to first backup file. Second time filled up here. This file information goes here. This file information goes here. Rolling file appender, right? Next, daily rolling file appender, boss. We have one more thing called what? Daily rolling file appender. Okay, uh, now listen. Application one, today one log file, tomorrow one log file, day after tomorrow one more log. Super. Okay, let me give the feeling. Let me give the feeling, boss. Super. Super guys, tell me uh, what is there? Every day one log file will be created. Info iPhone 2022. Come on. 2022. What is the month, guys? 11th month. What is the date, guys? 19.txt. 19.txt 19 or log. Super, guys. Uh, tell me next one. This is the next day log file. This is the next day log file. Okay. Are in daily rolling file appender, right? Not only daily, Rababu. We have an option. Uh, we have an option to generate these log files. Info iPhone 2022. Uh, tell me next. 2022 1120.log. 1120.log. Okay. 1121.log file. So like. 
like this every day one log file will come na boss can generate log files on daily or hourly or minutely or monthly or weekly basis and you don't believe boss our tomcat server is also generating log files on daily basis so our tomcat server indirectly using daily rolling file appender daily rolling file appender you want to feel that okay let me make you let me make you people to feel that okay definitely let's go to our tomcat server guys Tell me here, what is there? Class content here was hmm. not class content. I have to get into Tomcat server. Tomcat 10.x logs file. Uh, logs file. Look at this, guys. Daily one log file is coming now, boss. Look at these files also. On which days I started server, those days log files are generated. On which days I started server, those days log files are generated. Come on, my dear, are you able to feel it? On whose, because sometimes I did not start the server. So those days log file has not come. Okay, today I'll start the server. Today one log file once. Today I'll start the server. Are what will be there? If you open any log file, that information will be there which is a internal Tomcat execution related one. Okay. One day, one log file. So today, let me start the Tomcat server once. Right, boss. Uh, here is my what folder? Logs folder. Uh, one minute. Let me start the server today. Uh, Tomcat. Tomcat. Tomcat 10.exe file. Here is my run as administrator. Here is my run as administrator. Super boss. Mm. Ah, tell me next one. Go to logs folder. Okay. Today one log file has come now. 1119. 1119 one log file has come now, boss. So that means every day one log file it is generating now, boss. Every day one log file it is generating or not. Yeah, I'm using the old one only because I don't have continuous files there. <laughs> I don't have continuous files there. That's why I'm using old one only. Okay. Uh, daily rolling file appender. This is what? Daily rolling file appender now. Daily rolling file event. Daily rolling file event. Super guys. Uh, next, what is next one? Layout object. What is next one? Layout object. No, nothing will be. Every day new log file. If you stop the server, nothing happens to previous files. Uh, Given, given to format the log messages before giving to, before giving to appender for recording. Okay, recording or writing to destination. Uh, before giving to appender for recording or writing to destination. Simple layout. HTML layout, XML layout, pattern layout. Pattern layout is most regularly used, boss. What is that? To customize log messages content. 
in which order, what content do you want to see in log messages and all this stuff. All appender classes implement. All appender classes implement. Destination. implement log4j dot appender interface all layout classes extends from layout class layout class understanding my statement guys super yeah here is my log4j architecture rababu logging information is coming to logger object logger object is giving to whom appender object Appender object is taking the support from layout object to format the messages and writing to the destinations. <laughs> writing to the destination. And all these are supporting objects. All these are not explicitly used objects, guys. These are supporting objects, supporting object. Level object supporting, log manager object is supporting, filter object is supporting, object render is what supporting. They are internally used. They are not directly used by the programmer. Check it out. Yellow color, Java program. If you feel this is a Java program. Okay, black color, core objects. These are the core objects that we are using. We use this one in the coding boss. Okay, this... Um, Greenish color, green, or it is that pista color, sky color, of pista color, supporting objects, boss. These are supporting objects. They are not directly used by you, they are indirectly used. They are indirectly used. Tell me, boss, <laughs> log4j is better, huh? SOP is better, theoretically, forget about practicals. Theoretically, you tell me, log4j is better, huh? Uh, SOP messages are better. SOP messages are better. Okay, first application is simple one, Rababu. I want to use console appender and simple layout. I want to use console appender and simple layout. Okay, simple example. Simplest example I want to take. Simplest example I want to take. Everyone getting my point, guys? Super. Procedure to develop first application having log4j log messages in Eclipse ID. Step number one, download log4j.jar file from mevenrepository.com website. mevenrepository.com website. Shall I try that? mvnrepository.com. Hey, no need of downloading the entire software here. Jar is enough. mvnrepository.com log4j search log4j search log4j one minute yeah 1.2.7 there is a jar one there is a jar boss there is a jar to download. Where is the jar jar option, guys? I think this one. Yeah, jar is coming now, boss. Here, show in folder. Jar file has come now, boss. Log four j iPhone version. Yes. Yeah. Step one is over. Now next, create Java project in Eclipse IDE and add above jar file to it. Okay, above, above jar file it is. One, log4j 1 1.x is stable, 2.x is not stable. Don't use 2.x, use 1.x only. You go and search in the uh, company level projects also. Still 1.x is in utilization. Add build path to the project. Add build path to the project. Uh, can I create that project guys? Super. Uh, tell me, guys. Create project, Java project, Java project, guys. Nagendra possibility is confirming. <coughs> uh, 
Yeah, tell me. Yeah, you can use me even also. You can use me even also. Log 4J. Log 4J pros 1. Log 4J pros 1. Say next. Say next. Say finish. Say next. Say finish. Okay, boss. No opener's perspective. Now I should add what, guys? I should add what, guys? I should add what, guys? Jar file. Yeah, where is this? Build path. Configure build path. Libraries. Class path. You add external jars, guys. Add external jars. Okay. Go to download section. This added apply. Okay. Now I'm taking one code, guys. For a there should be application to test now, boss. Com dot nt dot com dot nt dot jdbc. Some code. Okay. I don't write jdbc code in front of you people. I will try to collect one of the existing application code. Can I do that? Yes. E dry class content, class content, advanced Java from any application. From any application, I can get it. One minute. Not class content. E dry workspaces, advanced Java. What's the running batch, guys? 916 is the new batch we have. Here, JDBC is there. In this JDBC, we have a lot of uh, select test applications are there. Okay, fine. All right. We'll streamline it. We'll take the code and we will streamline it. Don't worry. I copied dot, uh, dot class file. Huh? Very bad then. Now I should copy dot java. Say paste. Yeah. Okay. I should keep in a package, guys. First of all, let me keep the class in a package. Com dot nt dot jdbs. Com dot nt dot jdbs. Let me change the font first. Let me change the font first. General. Appearance, colors and fonts, basic, text to font, edit, edit, courier, uh, what is my favorite guys, Calibri, Calibri guys, bold, 14, okay. apply, apply and close. Apply, apply, and close. But it's a raw code, guys. I don't want to have try catch. So shall we go for this? Try here. Try here. Catch block here. What is there, guys? Catch block. Known exceptions. SQL exception. Yes, yes, C dot print stack. For unknown exception, exception E. E dot print stack. Yes. And better to close JDBC objects in finally block. Hey, if you are interested, you can use a try with resource also. But I'm trying to show with this one, boss. Uh, exception E. And one more catch block, guys. Uh, what is there? Class not found exception. Class not found exception. CNF. CNF dot print stack. Yes. Finally, block guys, close JDBC objects. Finally, block close JDBC objects. Close JDBC objects. Uh, tell me here. 
if r is not equal to null r is dot close yeah for this what should i do i should declare variable at the top now boss connection con is equal to null statement st is equal to null result set rs is equal to null okay let's remove connection here make it let's remove statement here let's remove result set here let's remove result set here guys okay boss uh, we'll see at the end all the problems rs dot close but this also should be there in a try try open try closing sql exception sc sc dot print stack copy guys paste uh, tell me st not equal to null st next okay con not equal to null okay con not equal to null super this is my end of the finally block now boss this is my end of the finally block this is my end of the finally block Okay, let me sort out the problems one by one. Yeah, try is not closed anywhere. Try is not closed. Fine. Close the try. Try is not closed. Yeah, since the try is not closed, these many errors. First, uh, I think got it, but listen carefully. To run this code, I need to add OJDBC 6 dot jar to the build path, guys. Build path, configure build path, class path, add external jars. Okay, add external jars. Okay. C dry, Arkel exe. Ah, tell me what is there. OJDBC 6 dot jar. Open boss. Apply OK. Am I audible, guys? Am I audible? Am I audible, guys? Now, am I audible now? Am I visible? Am I audible? Am I visible to you people, guys? Come on, everyone. Super. Select test dot Java boss. Select test dot Java. Run the application, my dear. Yes, we are getting the records here or not? We are getting the records here or not? Come on. Okay. Let's go for get the float of habits. Done. Okay, basic application is working, Rabo. Now, for this application, I would like to add the log messages. I would like to add the log messages. In the first time, I want to hard code them. Okay. Shall I start the work? Right. Okay. Now, listen carefully. If I want to use anything in the static method, you should be taken as a static or not. If I want to use any object, any instance variable inside the static and non-static method, better to take it as a static boss 
Okay, I want to use a logger object to generate the log messages inside the main method. Okay, but I don't want to see a logger object specific to main method. I should be in a position to use logger object throughout the class. So better to declare as instance variable that to as a static variable, come on. Class level static variable so that I can use in all methods, multiple methods of class, right? Private static logger logger. Private static logger logger. Logger dot get logger. Logger dot get logger. Select test dot class. Private static logger 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 dot get logger select test dot class. So now it can be used in multiple methods of the class or not. Both static and non static method, I can use it now. Suppose if I take it as non static, can I use in static methods directly, boss? No. Can I use it in static methods directly, boss? No. So ah, this is enabling log force. Enabling the logging, logging on the class, on the current class. Okay, on the class. Super. So here I want to write a log message. Okay, what is that? Generally we write SOP, but control your SOP. Logger dog debug. Logger dot debug. Start of main method. Start of main method. This is one log message. Logger dot debug. Here is end of main method. Why debug level? Why debug level? It's a normal confirmation message, right? Normal code flow message. It's a normal code flow message. That's why. Super guys. Uh, tell me next one is what? Uh, next one is what? Class dot for name. Oracle dot JDBC dot driver dot Oracle driver. Are a driver class loading also normal activity. It's not a great activity. It's not a great activity for me. So that's why what I do. Logger dot debug. Logger dot debug. Uh, JDBC driver class is loaded. Super. And a connection establishment is a good big, big activity for me. Logger dot info. Connection established with database software. Super. Statement object creation is not a great activity for me, boss. That's why I will take logger dot debug. Logger dot debug. JDBC statement object is created. JDBC statement object is created. Boss. Super boss. Uh, next. Okay. Uh, query execution and results set object generation is an important activity for me. Logger dot info. Okay. SQL query is executed and the results set object is generated. Object is generated. Super boss. Super. Next. <laughs> A result set processing for me is normal statement. Logger dot. Uh, tell me. Debug. I we use debug a lot, you know. Info debug a lot. Uh, result set is process. Result set is processed. Result set is processed. 
results that he is processed. Uh, tell me, this is a known exception or unknown exception? Unknown, known exception. Lager dot error. Lager dot error. Uh, tell me, what is lager dot error, guys? Uh, problem in problem in loading JDBC driver. Problem in loading JDBC driver. Next, guys. Problem in loading. Uh, tell me. Uh, some DB problem. Some DB problem. Some DB problem. You want to know the message. What is the problem? E dot get message. Are get message means you will get the problem. Na? Get message uh, on iPhone symbol. Yes, C dot get code. Get error code. Are, technical people will understand the error codes now. Boss, will understand the error codes. Next. Lager dot fatal. A serious problem. Unknown DB problem. Unknown DB problem. Unknown DB problem. Unknown DB problem. And better to print the message also. Okay. E dot get message. Unknown problem is not enough. No? Better to print the message also, right? Okay. Yeah, print stack page is your choice, boss. Okay. No, Raviteja, in standalone 404, 405 won't be there. In standalone database error codes will be there. Database error code, Arkil error codes. When you get error in Arkil error code will come, no? those errors. Yeah, next one. Print stack trace is your option, your choice. And next one. Lager dot debug. Closing JDBC objects. Closing JDBC objects. Next. Okay, boss. Mm. Right. All JDBC objects are closed. But closing JDBC object for me important activity. Hey, sir, in the place of invite take debug, what's your problem? Take it. No problem. It's all about your priority, boss. Your priority. Understanding my statement. Lager dot debug. How, how important it is, that is. Results at object is closed. Results at object is closed. Same in code. Next here. Problem in closing result set. Problem in closing result set. Problem in closing result set. Right, boss. Next, statement object is closed. Statement object is closed. Statement object is closed. Problem in closing statement object. Closing statement object. Next. Connection object is closed. Okay. Next. Problem in closing connection. Problem. Uh, problem in closing connection. Are you understanding my statement, guys? Super. Everyone got the clarity, guys? Come on, are you with me? Problem in closing connection. 
problem in closing connection, guys. This is right only, no? Yeah. Problem in closing connection object or closing connection. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, one minute. Uh, in catch block, better to go for error. Na? I, in the copy paste, I didn't notice that. I supposed to go to error here, right? I supposed to go to error here. What do you say, boss? I supposed to go to error here. Because it's a known exception, right? Because it's a seriously known exception. Uh, but are we mentioning any <laughs> are we mentioning any appender anywhere layout anywhere so we are supposed to do all those things in a boss we are supposed to do all those things and i would like to do that work in static block whenever class loaded they will be ready whenever class loaded they will be ready right Okay, this is end of main method. First, end of main. Copy paste effect. Ah, if we don't mention, they will be closed abnormally. Closed, but they will be closed abnormally. Ah, lager object is ready now, boss. Ah, now, what should I do, boss? I need to create uh, appender object, layout object. I need to link them to lager object. Lot of stories there are not there. Okay. Yeah, now listen carefully. Console appender. Appender is equal to new console appender of. Okay. Mr. Eureka Kibba, I don't know from which country you are. Which country you are? Mr. Eureka Kibba. Okay. You are totally out of sync. If you can stay in the sync with the classroom, please stay back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, please get out of the meeting. You know very little bit and you are not ready to listen my way of subject. I am requesting you to stay back and listen what I am telling. Otherwise, get out of the meeting. But don't waste my time. Please. I said I'm going to hard code every detail. When I'm when I decided to hard code every detail, what is need of XML file, what is need of property file, that I will introduce in next level. That I will introduce in next level. You have 10, 20 percent of knowledge, and you think that your knowledge itself, entire knowledge. No. A good listener is a good developer. A good listener is a good developer. Try to be a good listener. You might be already know 10 points. If I add, if I add another 20 points, what's your problem? Accept the things. Accept the newness. Yes, through XML file also we can give inputs. Through property file also we can give inputs, right? But before that, to tell the problem, why should I go for property file? Why should I go for property file? What's the problem of hard coding? To tell that I'm just giving one example through hard coding, right? Please. If someone is feeling, I will show my talent in the chat box. I will waste my time and SAR time. Stop doing that. Please go to interview, show your talent in front of interview. At least job will come and your financial support will come. <laughs> right what is the use of showing your talent in the chat box no use console appender appender is equal to new console appender this is appender object boss but before that layout object I decided to take simple layout boss simple layout means so simple logger level log message nothing else will come Layout is equal to new simple layout. Appender object.
layout object. Super na layout object appender object. Uh, add appender object to logger object. Logger dot add appender appender. Logger dot add appender to appender. Uh, indirectly layout is also added now. Check it out. Indirectly layout is also added. Fine. Layout is linked to appender, appended linked to logger. Right, boss? Layout is linked to what? Appender. Appender is linked to logger. Come on, my dear. So indirectly, uh, layout is for what purpose? To format the messages. For formatting layout, to tell the destination logger. Simple layout means no speciality. Just, just log message and logger level will come. Nothing else will come. Console appender means like S SOP, it also write to the console only. First example, I will introduce more appenders, more layouts. First example only. Uh, yeah, specify the logger level to retrieve the log messages. Specify the logger level to retrieve the log messages. Uh, tell me, logger dot set level, level dot debug. Logger dot set level. Now, nah, what's the meaning of that? I want to get all log messages whose logger level is greater than or equal to debug. Indirectly, all messages I'm asking now, boss. If I don't mention what is default logger level to retrieve the log messages, debug only. Debug only, right, boss? Select test. Run the application. Check it out. Along with the output, along with the output, all log messages came now. Why error and fatal has not come? Why error and fatal has not come? Because no exception is raised. Because no exception is raised. Okay, error and fatal not came. Warning is not given. So what is the other messages you will get? Debug and info, right? Debug and info. Debug and info has come. What is simple layout? Logger level, log messages. 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 Kema, not Kema, boss. Suppose I have not given any logger level to retrieve the log messages. <coughs> then also, same effect. That means default logger level is debug now boss uh, can i give all logger level dot all then also same effect okay boss uh, now i said i want to use logger level to retrieve log messages info only info messages have come three important info messages have come understanding my statement Layout is required to format the message. The structure of message can be decided by layout. We have other layouts also. HTML layout, XML layout, pattern layout. Simple layout means just logger level and log message. HTML layout gives log messages in HTML file, right? No default layout. Every layout should be mentioned. Manually. Okay. If you put error level, what happens? Are you going to get any log, log messages now? Especially when exception is not raised? No. Especially when exception is not raised, guys. Suppose I create the situation of raising exception. Wrong username is given. Wrong username is given. War the situation is not there as actually. <coughs> error has come now, boss. Error has come now. Invalid username and password. 
Invalid. This red color because of print stack place. Error is coming now, boss. Error is coming here now, boss. Come on. Fatal will not come now. When you raise unknown exception, then only fatal. When you create unknown exception, then only fatal. Are a fatal is there in a catch block where, where, where unknown exceptions are raised, right? But by right now, known exception is raised. Control gone to this catch block only. It has not gone to this catch block, right, boss? So code flow also you should concentrate, my dear. Code flow also you should concentrate, not only this. I think you got basic idea of log 4 j boss. Basic idea. But today I used simple layout and regular cons appender. Console appender. Both are useless. Only to begin with I have done. <coughs> Only to begin with I did this work. Same application is there here guys. Same application is there here. You can see that. You can see that and setup also given, jar files also given. Lot of things are there. Lot of things are there. Right, boss? Lot of things are there. But listen, still not over. Still not over. So what I do is, uh, it's already two and a half hours. If I teach also, it is not going to inject to your brain. Okay, can we meet tomorrow at nine o'clock? Same meeting ID. Can we meet tomorrow at 9 o'clock with the same meeting ID? Another one and a half hour, two hour session will be there. Another one and a half hour, two hour session will be there. Oh, tomorrow 9.30 a.m. batch, whatever I announce, that will be cancelled. Don't worry. Whatever batch I announce, that will be cancelled. That will be cancelled. If it is from my side, if it is from my side, that will be cancelled. No, it's a 9 o'clock, boss. I know that from 11 onwards, again, you won't be available. Cricket match is there. I know that from 11 onwards, again, you won't be available. So that's why... Mm, super. Okay. Tomorrow, new advanced Java batch. New advanced Java batch. Same topic continuation, same link. Same topic continuation, same link. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Today I majorly concentrated on concept because I believe concept is very important. You should learn subject with respect to project angle. You must learn subject with respect to project angle. I hope you enjoyed the way I brought the subject. Need of log 4J. Where it is used in the company. Use cases. Whatever I have experienced, I have shared with you people, right? My Spring Boot and microservice batch will start within 10 days. Within 10 days, 7.15 p.m., my Spring Boot and microservice batch will start. Okay. You will get the classroom, these notes, guys, in this URL of Facebook. Okay, to collect the material, this is the Facebook URL. It's my group, guys. You have to become a member of the group in order to get the content. Okay. You can add Log4j in your resume after this workshop. Log4j, SLF4j, you can add in the resume, not a problem. You want my mail ID? This is my mail ID. Okay. I will give all the details, guys. Take it. A new advanced Java batch we are planning within a within a within 20 days. Within 20 days to attend Spring Spring Boot prerequisite is Spring Core. Spring Core. Spring Core are nothing but Spring Basics is required. Tomorrow, new Spring Boot batch will start evening 7:30 p.m. Evening 7:30 p.m. 
yeah a lot of workshops will happen in future don't worry lot of workshop will happen in future don't worry today not not completed today not completed tomorrow continuation is there tomorrow continuation is there super thank you guys